Peace, namaste, welcome to, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite earth angel, star seed light worker, goddess, Elijah here, back at it again with another video. Obsidian stone properties. Right now, <clears throat> I'm doing a quick intention setting and programming of my crystals so bear with me and then we're going to continue with my reading so yes that is that spirit please consecrate this bag move on from these associations of forces from this bag purify this bag and set this bag and consecrate this bag for the purpose of protecting my sacred custom card solution. Protecting shield my cards through this bag from evil spirits and evil energies, non negative energies, shifting, attaching, or defiling the custom cards within this bag. Usher, 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 and so on. So it's both obsidian and crystal. Obsidian and crystal is good for grounding. So I set the intention and manifest that this stone clears energy and connects with the earth and my body. I set the intention that this crystal balances my inner duality. I set the intention and manifest that. This stone removes unwanted energy within my body and helps clear my energy field and aura field in my home. All right, I set the intention to manifest that this stone brings feng shui, feng shui, and provides a grounded, focused environment. I set the intention that this stone can allow me to have a space that is used for scrying, a space working that is used for scrying, divination, crystal gazing, crystal gazing, crystal gazing, crystal gazing, crystal gazing. That being said, all right, so this was, let's just clear up. Just clear up this um, cards from the past reading that we got. And then continue. Just get my spiritual music moving and grooving, pumping in my ear. But yeah, as always, I hope you guys are all doing well wherever you are in the world. As always. You guys can see me appropriately here. I was trying to like get this in alignment. Alright, so let's continue. Anything else I should know, Spirit? For my personal reading, anything else I should know? Thank you. We have the King of Swords here, so immediately with this King of Swords, I feel that this is my divine masculine. Tell me more about this. King of Swords, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Okay, so this is about my Divine Masculine. Stepping into his star seed, lights here, recognizing who he is, 
you guys can't really read that, but it says Starseed Lightworker. He's recognizing that he's a Starseed, a Lightworker, an Archangel, a Chosen One, and that he's a healer, a Reiki healer, and that he has Christ Consciousness, and he's tapping into that Christ Consciousness, all based on the fact, and the reasoning behind it is him coming into alignment with me and recognizing you know who i am as a being and recognizing that we are twin souls that makes us both one and the same with the seven of pentacles here i feel that this is i feel that with the seven of pentacles this is um hang on let's see let us she with the seven of pentacles here Clarify this seven of pentacles and find the natural point. Thank you. Okay, so this is basically my divine masculine recognizing that all the work that he put into our connection, all the effort that we both have um, mutually put into our connection is having a payoff. You know, we're harvesting the fruits of our labor. All of the works that we've done throughout life are now coming to fruition. There. Um, being recognized and um, being brought forth. I find a seven of pentacles. Thank you, spirit. All right, this one wants to come out. We have the main male here, so I find more of the seven of pentacles. Spirit, please thank you. Gosh, my finger always be getting in the way. Sorry, about that. okay. So we have the marriage card here. So he's recognizing that he wants to be the main male within my life. That he wants to come in. With this sudden unexpected offer to me um of this proposal um and become the main male of my life and invest more because we've invested a lot in the future we have a history and he's recognizing that we have a, a long history he's invested a lot into me and our connection thus far so he recognizes that you know to give that all up and you can you know you can't get that time back and he finds that it's going to be a very fruitful harvest if he continues to put effort and time in plants to see it's over within, you know, our garden that we've, you know, already created. He's recognizing that it will be, better, it will be more beneficial to continue to invest over here and, and that it would have long-term success and longevity here with this seven, or excuse me, with this, um, yeah, seven of the pentacles and this four of wands. I feel that he's finding that with this marriage, yeah, let's hire that. With this four of wands, with this marriage um, proposal and this commitment, he finds that it will be a high level commitment. Like this is long term. This isn't just like for now. Like this is like long term. This is a long term, you know, committed relationship. This will be a long term relationship, and it will be very, um, you know, lucrative. You know, it's not all about the the finances and the business and the abundance of it all, but it's very lucrative because. It will bring in a lot of inheritance for you know our future generations and for ourselves as a whole. Okay, and that could be while well, we have the emperor right here, the on deck, and the empress here. So he regrets. He regrets the fact that he abandoned me in the past. You know what I mean? And he's wanting to, yeah, he's regretting leaving me out in the cold and leaving our connection out in the cold. And he definitely wants to come back around and invest invest not just like you know put money invest in my business but wants to invest his time his effort you know um his word into our connection he's very protective okay okay very protective over me very protective over our connection and in the past he was blocking you know things for advancing within our connection now it's that's changing we have this coming up sideways so that's telling me that this is no longer okay that he's no longer blocking our connection from moving forward. But in the past, he was unsure about how he could come in and make this all work, how he's going to balance it all. And now he's he's basically gained inspired action and he's manifesting our union. 